What's up, America? This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. You'll never find me. Yeah, okay. Well, I've been uh, watching the news and uh, kind of depressing lately. Uh, uh, being a white man and uh, seems like uh, we're getting accused of being a racist even when we may not be. And it just bothered me and it looks to me like it's a Salem witch hunt. The things that are going on us, mostly in politics, it's not affecting old Jim Bob, but at least it hasn't so far. But uh, I don't uh, like racism of any sort or kind, religion or uh, color of skin or otherwise. Um, but uh, I've been following this story a little bit uh, by the governor in uh, Virginia. And it uh, seems as though that when he was a young fellow in college, uh, he had uh, a yearbook uh, printed, and there's a picture in there of a fellow with a black face on, a uh, black face, uh, you know, uh, decoration, uh, like making him look like a black person, a white person look like a black person. And next to him is a fellow with a hood on, like a Ku Klux Klan person or whatever. And, uh, you know, a go I guess it was going to a party or something like that. I don't know. But anyways, that, there's that picture. And uh, so people are saying, because it's in his yearbook, on his page, uh, uh, it was him. And uh, that, uh, that made him a racist. And uh, that's, my, that's my problem right there. That, that made him a racist. And uh, that he should resign immediately from the governorship of Virginia. And uh, that, uh, uh, that made him a racist. And so... Uh, the other thing is that the lieutenant governor uh, who would succeed him should he resign or should he even talk about impeaching him or if he was impeached or what have you, that uh, the lieutenant governor uh, was immediately, that he was accused of uh, sexual misconduct and, uh, and rape and all kind of stuff by two different other women all of a sudden right in the same time. And so now you've got uh, uh, an accused racist as the governor and a lieutenant governor as an accused rapist. And uh, so all the news media and all the big shots, uh, whoever they are, congressmen and senators and all that, it's calling for impeachment and uh, all that kind of stuff. And um, my take on it is that this is wrong. This type of reporting uh, of the not the it's not the report of the news that bothers me so much. It's that they keep on trying to make this happen. Uh, the fact if uh, the governor is a racist and the people of Virginia voted for him, then either the all the people who voted for him are racist too, or there's some mistake going on here. And uh, if, if they are, then that's what the Constitution is set up for. I vote for who I think is best in the office. And if I want a racist in the office, then I vote for a racist in the office. Um, if I don't, and I find out that he's a racist in the office or he does some other thing politically that I don't like, take the time coming around, I vote his ass out. So that's the way it needs to be handled, not in the news media, not by people who don't have any absolute proof that this governor is a racist one way or the other. And I don't know whether he's a racist. I don't know anything about him. He could be a good governor. He could be a bad governor. But I do know if he's broke the law, then they should charge him with whatever the law that he broke is and, uh, you know, carry forward with there. Same thing with the lieutenant governor. If he has raped somebody in his past and they caught him now, arrest him and put him in jail. Uh, get him out of there. Whatever. He has asked for the FBI to investigate. He says he's not guilty. I don't know whether he's guilty or not, but I know that the media is not the one to decide. Not uh, you and I only we decide when we vote who should be in office and who should not. We voted Trump into office. I didn't. The majority of the people voted Trump in office. I don't like it. But Trump is the president of the United States of America, and that's the way it should be. Uh, you know, you can't impeach Trump 
because you think he's a racist, I think he's a racist. But that's Jim Bob's opinion. It doesn't make it a fact. Trump may not be. And we have no right to use the news media to try to get these people out of office. It's a witch hunt, it's wrong, and we need to wake up. What is the worst thing about it, in Jim Bob's opinion, is this kind of craziness divides us more. Instead of whites and blacks and Muslims and Christians and on and on and on, getting together and talking and being friends and working through our differences, it simply divides us more. And it divides us in the stupidest kind of way. It just is insane, the things you come up with. You have to be so careful of what you say or what you do or how you dress. If I dress up to be a black rapper, I am somehow a racist? How insane is that? That is just plain crazy. I might admire that rapper. I might think he's great. If I do a moon dance like Michael Jackson and put some black face on because I did it, I might admire that man and how he danced. I personally do. I think that is the coolest dance I've ever seen in my life. I don't care for rap music, but that doesn't make me a racist. It's just plain crazy and it needs to stop. So think about it, America. Listen to old Jim Bob. He'll give you the good advice. Jim Bob's out. Please subscribe.